वेलकम बैक टू टेन स्लेड इनफो लुक्स लाइक द इंडियन नेवी इज मोर ईगर टू लीज वेपन एंड इक्विपमेंट रैदर दैन प्रोक्योरिंग दैम फॉर दैम सेल्फ्स लेटेस्ट टू द लिस्ट ऑफ लीजिंग बाई द इंडियन नेवी इज गोइंग टू बी अ प्रोडक्ट टैंकर फॉर रीफ्यूलिंग द इंडियन नेवी शिप्स एंड द पीरियड ऑफ लीजिंग इज सेट टू बी फॉर थ्री ईयर्स To be more precise, the Indian Navy has released an RFP to lease a fuel tanker for a period of three years, and according to the RFP, this tanker needs to be delivered within ten months from the signing of the deal. Another major condition set by the Indian Navy is the manufacturing date of this particular ship. It should not be after 2003, and it should have a minimum of 60 percent indigenous content. Even though the Hindustan Shipyard Limited is planning to build a series of five fleet tankers with technology transfer from Turkey's Anadolu Shipyard for the Indian Navy, this leasing is to ensure the immediate requirement. With a length of 230 meters, speed of 20 knots, range of 12,000 nautical miles, and a displacement of 45,000 tons. These fleet tankers will be the heaviest and the second largest vessel to be in operation in the Indian Navy fleet before 2030. Now coming back to the RFP of the Indian Navy, the tanker is to be procured under Bi Indian category and the ship is to be delivered at Mumbai Naval Harbor. This tanker would be installed with Aston fueling gear, so a clear deck area of 4000 mm into 4500 mm into 2100 mm is required. Another requirement highlighted is that the ship is to be under the Indian flag at the time of delivery. The tanker will be based at Mumbai ports and the product tanker would be operating in the Indian exclusive economic zone in and around the ports of India or Indian Ocean region. The tanker should have 30 days of endurance and should be able to carry 5000 to 30000 tons of high flash high speed diesel. The last date of bid submission is said to be 20th January 2023 tentatively. With the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier getting ready for operations, the requirements of tankers are ever increasing. So let's hope the Indian Navy gets this tanker on lease at the earliest and gets into action as planned. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tain Slade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.